Okay, all right, here I go. All right, we're going. Okay, here we go. Hi. Welcome to another episode of me eating hot dogs. I apologize for not having an episode last week. I had numerous things that were of higher priority. Uh, graduation stuff, all sorts of things going on and just couldn't do it. But that doesn't mean we can't have a nice zesty episode this week. So this week we're going to be concentrating on probably the most popular hot dog brand in America, Oscar Mayer, right? I don't even need to say any more than that. It's just Oscar Mayer. Everyone knows Oscar Mayer, literally available in any grocery store in America, anyone. You're going to find Oscar Mayer there. You're going to find the yellow band, the yellow band. Okay, so a little history about Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer, star German immigrant, 1883, started um, um, a butcher or meatpacking company up in northern, in North Chicago area. So there's a Chicago brand, right? Later on, they moved to Wisconsin, but then came back to Chicago. They're a pretty much a homegrown Chicago brand. And um, they were always selling things like, uh, at the time, they were selling things like uh, probably like liverwurst and, and, and knockwurst and stuff like that. But when did they start selling the wiener? Now, I did some research because they call it a wiener, right? Wiener. Oscar Mayer wiener, right? So they have been uh, selling that for at least, because I look back in time, to old advertisements and to at least the the 19 to the 19 teens they were selling but i would say that i'm gonna i'm gonna wager that um oscar meyer started um their hot dog somewhere around 1895 or something like that and the reason is is that i have a theory here's my theory in 1893 chicago had one of its pivotal events in its history it had the one event that they said, hey, look at me. I am, a, I am a real city. What was that event? The event was the Chicago Columbian Exhibition, 1894. It was a World's Fair. If you're not familiar with the World's Fair, let me just give you a quick explanation. I will go into the World's Fair later because hot dogs are pivotal, have, have these pivotal moments during uh, World's Fair. A World's Fair, um, before people traveled everywhere via plane and, and such, or even there were planes, um, they, there were these things called world fairs, which were these uh, large uh, uh, like events where um, they would put these permanent structures down and then they would have uh, people come out and, and there would be these pavilions and each pavilion down the fairway would represent a different country. And you'd go and you'd say, oh, I'm gonna have Japanese food. I'm gonna learn about Japanese culture. So you'd go to the Japanese pavilion and then you'd eat Japanese food. That'd be the only time in your whole life you would eat Japanese food would be at the Japanese pavilion at the World's Fair, say in Chicago. And, they, and these World's Fairs also created these amazing structures that still exist today. You know, the Eiffel Towers from a World's Fair, the St. Louis Arches from a World's Fair. The Ferris wheel was from this particular World's Fair, was invented. Uh, in Chicago, uh, in the Chicago World's Fair, was shown uh, first there. And so these big events occurred during World's Fairs. They're not so popular anymore. You could say Epcot, it was, uh, Epcot models itself at, in, in Disney and in, uh, in Orlando, models itself after World's Fair. Um, but I did, uh, whatever, I, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so moving on. In the World's Fair, um, Oscar Mayer was a sponsor of the German village uh, where they serve German food uh, that would include the food that they make. At that point in time, by 1894, 93, they were already 10 years old and they were already a uh, major, they were already a major provider of, uh, of meat around, around, um, okay, boom, jump cut. That was a jump cut because I screwed up. Okay. All right. So, um, the, in the World's Fair in, the, in 1894, um, Oscar Mayer was a sponsor of the uh, German village. Uh, so they would serve German food there. They were a sponsor. Across the fairway, or midway they called it actually, catty corner aside was the, um, was the old Vienna pavilion where they had food from Vienna, from the city of Vienna in Austria. 
And they were serving a sausage in a bun called a Vienna sausage, a Vienna sausage. And it was the most, one of the most popular things in the whole fair. There was a line and the line was stretching all the way over to the German village. And Oscar Mayer was like, what is this thing they're serving? And they were serving this thing, this Vienna sausage. We're going to get into the Vienna sausage on another episode. But the Vienna sausage, they, were call, they, they, they called it the Vienna sausage. They also called it the Wiener, which then became the Wiener. That's why in that area of Chicago or in Chicago or in different areas around there, they call hot dogs Wieners. They don't do that on the East Coast. They call it that way there because the lineage of the hot dog in that region of the country is from Vienna and in New York. The, it was from Frankfurt, so they call it a Frankfurter, and then they call it a Wiener. That's 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 the uh, the source of those names right there. Okay, all right. Are you still with me, or are you gone? If you fast forwarded through this, you probably fast forwarded through this. Okay, so now we're going to get deeper into this. Why is Oscar Mayer so popular? I think Oscar Mayer is really popular because it has some of the greatest advertising of all times in the history of advertising. It's got two of the most essential or the, the two most pivotal song, I'm pivotal? I don't, I keep on using the word. They have these two songs that everyone knows. It's like part of American culture. It's um, the Oscar Mayer Wiener song and the Oscar Mayer Bologna song. So I thought, why don't we do this? This would be interesting. Let's look at these two episodes. Let's look at these two commercials, okay? Let me give you a history of those two commercials and then we'll watch them. You get to see them and then you know, we could talk about it a little bit. So uh, the first one, which is the longest running jingle for any kind of product in the history of modern advertisement. I'm saying modern because I don't know what happened in the Middle Ages. They must have, they might have had jingles too. But in, in, in modern world here, they had a jingle for uh, uh, Oscar Mayer. It was written in 1962. It was the Oscar Mayer Wiener song, right? 1962, written by Richard Trentler. Okay, he just passed away uh, a couple of years ago. He wrote it, listen to this, he wrote this song as a response to a contest that Oscar Mayer um, had where it was, it was an open contest of whoever can write the best jingle for Oscar Mayer wieners. And he wrote it in a period of an hour the night before it was due. He found out that day, wrote it, had his kids record it, sent it in, and it was accepted. He wrote four, it's only, Four verses, right? Four lines of, of, of stuff. You know, I wish I was an Oscar Mayer Wiener. You know, you get, you, you know the song. Everyone knows the song. Okay, they used this song until 2010. So from 1963 until 2010, this song was used to advertise Oscar Mayer's hot dogs. That's pretty crazy, right? So why don't we do this? Let's watch the Oscar Mayer Wiener commercial. There's really one single commercial here that we're, we're talking about. I saw this commercial in the 70s. It was, even though it was made in the 60s, I saw this commercial in the 80s. This commercial was run forever. Okay, let's watch, watch it. Here we go. Class attention. Forward march. Oh, I'd love to be an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is what I truly like to be. Cause if I were an Great is so inspiring. Oh, I'm glad I'm not an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is what I never want to be. Because if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, there would soon be nothing left of me. Oh, I love to be an Oscar, Oscar Mayer, Mayer wieners wiener. are all meat, all good meat, rich and complete meat protein, mildly seasoned to bring out all the good meat flavor. Everyone would be in love with me. Next week, you handle just the refreshments, Freddie. Isn't that, isn't that a crazy commercial? That commercial could never be made now. I mean, it literally promotes bullying and peer pressure. You know that, right? It's like fully an evil commercial. But there it is. That commercial, that jingle will not go out of your mind, will not leave your mind for, uh, for years. It's never left my mind. Okay, the next commercial I wanted to talk about was the Oscar Mayer Bologna song. This song um, really is wrapped around a 1973 commercial that is super famous. Actually, it's probably, I would say, in the in probably top three commercial of the 70s. 
uh, it sits in there, probably with um, Mamma Mia, what a, ha, what a Meatball or something like that. Remember that one? That was a good one too. The, the, you Google, Google the Meatball commercial. Meesy, meesy, bossy, bossy. Um, okay, so here's the story on that one. Uh, the, the, the song was already written. Uh, My Baloney has a first name. Remember this one? The My Baloney has a first name. That's, that's what we're talking about now. It was written um, by an advertising company. I think it's J. Walter Thompson or something. Advertising company wrote it. And then they went to go film the commercial. And so check this out. Because they thought that the song was so complicated, they had lots of kids come. And they decided what they were going to do is break up the commercial into parts. So give a line to each little kid so they can each remember a line and say it while they're doing some kind of action like bow and arrow or climbing a, climbing a hill or something like that. And they would film. So they spent the entire day filming kids. At the end of the day, they were wrapping up. And the director came uh, said, hey, you know what? I got some film left in the, in the, in the magazine. It's a beautiful time during the, during the evening here. It's just about, sun's about to set. We've got about 20 minutes of light left. Let's film something. And they were like, do, do whatever you want. So he said, okay. So he went over and the kids were still there. They were kind of gathering their stuff. And he said, does anyone here know the entire song by heart? And little Andy, I think it's La- Lambros or Lambros or Lambros. I think Lambros rose his hand. He's a little kid. Actually, he's my age. So he's like really old now. He's like an old man now. But, but he rose, he was a little kid. He said, you know the whole song? Yes. So he took little Andy and he brought him to the little dock that was there, gave him a fake fishing pole, put a sandwich in his hand, and he said, just, just sing the song. So he filmed them singing the song. He ate the, ate the sandwich at the end. He's like, how was that? And they were like, yes, good. And that was, that was it. They filmed that. That was, that was it. They threw everything else away. They were like, that's, that's the commercial. My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. Oh, I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say, 'Cause Oscar Mayer has a way with B O L O G N A. Oscar Mayer, the first name in Bologna. How's that? So pretty awesome, right? Okay. This is a really long one. This is really, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Okay. That brings us, with all that history, history of advertising, historical Chicago brand, we're going to eat Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Right now, I've got the beef ones here. These are the beef ones because that's what I eat, the beef ones. And these are the ones that now, now Oscar Mayer has no nitrate, nitrite, but we know that story. We know the secret. Right, I've talked to you about it. All, all Oscar Mayer products have this yellow band. You know why? Because when they first made sausages and hot dogs, they were like, 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 uh, like cigars. They were each wrapped in an individual yellow band of quality. That's what they called it. So that you always see the yellow band there. All right, um, skinless, obviously. I mean, they're Oscar Mayer. Um, um, they're kind of small, and uh, they're vacuum packed here, and uh, nothing else. I think we're just going to go for it. Let's do it. Oscar Mayer hot dogs. We're going to eat one in a second. All right. We're rolling. I've got my hot dog here. So I just want to say one other thing. I did, I did uh, put a lot of praise there on, on Oscar Mayer and their, and their amazing advertising history. But I do want to state that they also had a lot of advertising bombs. As an example here, the Christmas tree with hot dogs hanging off it. I would say that that would be very, very ripe around the 12th day of Christmas. Just saying. All right, here we go. Hot dog, small. Look at this. This is a, this is a small hot dog here. I mean, I've got a lot of extra. I could almost have another hot dog in there. That's how small this hot dog is. Uh, they're just getting smaller and smaller, but whatever. That's the way it is. It's, it's not a bad ratio as far as a uh, girthiness there. So, okay. Let me just, and this, this requires the same kind of ballpark scenario of me pushing it up. Look at that. We got an extra. We've got, I've got a gap. Okay. Here we go. Going to go in. Going in. Does not have that outrageous sweetness. It's still sweet. It's got a sweetness that's coming from sugar and 
some other stuff there. Um, maybe the cherry powder. I don't know really what the cherry powder does. I know that there's cherry powder in here. Um, I taste a lot of it's. I taste that kind of false smoky flavor that I did taste in the in the Nathan's. Um, not super salty, and ha and the texture is not bad. The te texture is much much better than say like the ballpark hot dog, which was just all soft and baloney like. And ooh, ooh. <sighs> I still have nightmares. Okay, not terrible hot dog. Not a terrible hot dog. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't normally buy this hot dog, to, though, to be honest with you. It's okay. It's like a, it's like something I'd, it, I would, I would finish this at a ballpark. Um, but there are a lot better hot dogs than this. I would say Oscar Mayer Wiener, one seven, one seven. We'll give it a one seven because I'll end up finishing a hot dog. So, all right. Till next time. Me eating hot dog.